The good life principle, the risk of avoiding risk, is carefully worded that way to speak to the fact that there's risk in being too careful. It's one of the reasons my motto is be safe but not too safe. We always hear, or at least I always do, in my many postings about the things that I do, be careful, cautious, don't take, don't, don't, you know, don't take too many chances, Kurt, you know, uh, be safe, all these things. To my mind, uh, that's good and fine, but I'm also like, but I want to take risks. I do want to extend myself. I, I am willing to be hurt or to damage myself or my, even my thinking. Yeah, I can, I can break my thoughts too by, for example, going alone too far and too deep and not being able to recover myself fully back. That's the risk that I'm willing to take, just as I'm willing to take the physical risk I always have. Because not doing so has its own risk, mainly the risk that comes of becoming settled into a way of life that may be contrary to how we want to live. This risk is most keen with those who, when they're in their late teens and through their 20s, have some desire for adventure, you know, some interest, some need, some, some, some burning passion to do something, to go somewhere and to experience things, to come back with stories, maybe a few scars, suntan burned, you know, hair bleached from the sun, um, and uh, bruised and battered and maybe a broke and stories galore. Some people don't want that, but if you are one who does want that and you postpone it, it gets harder to do as time goes by. Uh, it's more difficult to have a great life adventure that has the, the real seasoning and, and um, vivacity that we're seeking. Because a lot of the seasoning, and I'm using that word vivacity, I think that's the right word, comes of the mistakes that we make. And we are more prone in, to make such mistakes in our, when we're, during our more reckless, youthful period. We're also better able to recover from these mistakes because uh, we'll have time to grow back into them, grow back into our, our, our more sane and sober life. So as we, as we age, we become less, more risk adverse. We become wiser and know how to avoid the risks. But it's the very risks sometimes that make the most interesting stories. Like I've got this one video on YouTube called Getting Lost on the Road to Yui. It's one of my favorite videos. That whole adventure um, came about because I made a wrong turn trying to find my way to the village of Yui from uh, another town called Okitsu on the other side of the mountains. And I wound up going up a different mountain path and had quite an adventure up a quite abandoned and desolate bit of mountains over the top and down the other side, not knowing where I was. That all came about because of my, my mistaken folly at the beginning, at the outset. If I'd waited, I might not have made that mistake. I, I would have been a little more mature, a little more seasoned, more cautious. If I'd waited even more, I would never have gone. The risk of avoiding risk is the consequence that comes of taking too long to embark upon the life that we want to live, to step upon the path of wildness, which is the way forward and upward and through to new life. It's easy to find the path of wildness. It's the, the beast tracked through the brush. The course of a stream leaves blown in the wind in the direction of our first inclination. It's the thing. It's the path that I'm on right now. As Yumiko and I try to find our way back to Japan from this sane and settled life here, it's a great life adventure that we're stepping upon this path. And we are assuaging the risk of avoiding risk by not waiting, by picking dates, by executing the uh, process of dispensing with this life, bringing it to a hard close with no way back, burning the bridges as we go, setting fire to them before we're even across. This is how we avoid the risk of avoiding risk while onboarding other types of risk that may be even more significant and deadly, but if we can get through them, the yield and the gain is well worth the effort and the challenge and the and the and the potential risk. That is the risk of avoiding risk. All right.